Hey guys, in my recent video, I talked about white spots and how I got rid of them. And in today's episode, we'll be talking about fish lies. So is fish lies any different from white spots? Yes, of course. And in this video, you'll see uh, how they look like and what do I do to get rid of them. Let me just pause the video real quick here. And as what you can see on this particular goldfish, uh, there is kind of like a green ball attached to its fins. I'm not entirely sure if you guys can see it, but if we zoom it a little, I think there is one that is pretty much obvious and you can see it right there. Just like in my first video, there is a certain medication that can attack this kind of parasite, which is actually uh, very helpful. But for me, I think the best way is to get rid of it manually so as to uh, get rid of it in an instant and not wait for the medication because I don't have one with me as of the moment. So after scanning the whole aquarium, uh, I do think that these three red cup orandas are the only uh, fish that has uh, fish lice on them. So we're gonna separate them first and uh, again remove the fish lice manually and as early as now i would like to apologize because of the angle of the camera i have no better way of uh, positioning it myself so i hope this one would suffice uh, what i have here is a towel and a fish net of course i kind of like uh, sprinkled the towel with water so as not to uh, let the fish uh, lie down on a dry surface. So yeah, you can manually uh, remove the fish lice using your nails. But I think it would be best if you would use tweezers. And again, I wasn't able to find uh, one at home. So I did use my nails but I had to do it very carefully so as not to uh, hurt the fish. A uh, gentle reminder to everyone that if you're going to use your nails or particularly your hand for this one, uh, the fish might release some slimy coat and that's normal because they use that to defend against uh, everything that is external, may it be parasite or whatnot. They can actually defend themselves from parasites such as these but it's not enough you know you have to really get rid of it since they uh, stick to the fins or in any part of the fish really really good so yeah once you're done with uh, the fish lies make sure to uh, gently uh, return them to their quarantine tank or uh, the place you've actually uh, held on to them and here I'm about to show you guys how they actually look like outside of the water so I apologize again for the texture of the towel and I think it would be uh, hard for you to see properly but I'm going to pause the video real quick just for you guys so some of them are actually still moving since uh, these are parasites and they are alive of course uh, you'll see them squirming around trying to look for a host to attach themselves onto and uh, try to get rid of them as early as you can because uh, sooner or later it might be very fatal to your fish if not attended to uh, immediately. So these are the fish lice I have collected from my red cap orandas and uh, getting rid of them in an instant is uh, better for them because some of these parasites try to stick to their gills uh, and some of the fish uh, 
have a hard time breathing because of these parasites so better to uh, remove them while they're still on the fins so don't worry you guys after this video i actually had uh, one or two more fish lice uh, attached to one of my black moors but i was able to get rid of it and eventually get rid of uh, every fish lice there is in my main aquarium so if you made it this far i would like to thank you guys for watching uh, if you like the video please do hit the like button if you have any comments feel free to comment and please do subscribe it would actually help the channel grow peace